This is Twit. So here's a cool story uh, from space.com. Thank you, Tark. No, you're uh, welcome. You're very welcome. Voyager lives on. So uh, due to, as I understand it, they're, plan they're planning to do maintenance work or upgrades on one of the big dishes. I presume mm -hmm. Goldstone, is it? I'm assuming it is because they're, re they're, re they're re what, what do you call it? Re reviving? Re restoring? Fixing. They're upgrading. They're, they're upgrading. It. They're yes. upgrading it, yeah. So to do that, they wanted to make sure before they did that that they had the backup thrusters on Voyager working because the primary thrusters, apparently there's some concern about fuel line pressure and buildup and corrosion and so forth. So they fired recently the backup thrusters, which hadn't been used since 2004. Yeah, yeah, these roll thrusters on the spacecraft, as I understand it. So that, that means that means I've had a whole a whole career at space.com. Basically, since I've been at space.com, they haven't fired these thrusters, and now they know that they can. Uh, by I think they they did some kind of workaround to understand some of the switching on some computer boards or something like that. It's very engineery uh, the way that that NASA described. It. In fact, this was written the um, the NASA announcement by Cal Cofield, former space.com writer now over at jpl um uh, you know her rod right yeah 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 so uh but you know the to to you know people don't know and you're a first time listener uh the voyager one spacecraft launched in 1977 so an entire Tarek ago uh and because i was also launched in 1977 but um it, it launched now it's out, out in interstellar space what like 15 billion miles away something like that and uh and for the last 21 years it's it's had only one set of these roll control thrusters they really need that roll control to be able to uh to make sure that it's it can stay pointed back at earth and and send back uh uh its its data you know such as it is because it is uh 48 years old now and uh as rod you suggested earlier they're upgrading the deep space network, the, the primary antenna they use for Voyager, and they want to make sure that the spacecraft is as ready. Like any road trip, right? You want to make sure that you have all your supplies, all your fuel, all your whatever, ready to go, that the car is in good shape. And so that's what they're trying to do with Voyager here. And they just thought, you know what? Let's try to see what we can do. We thought these were dead thrusters. Let's see if we can figure out a way around it. And it sounds like they did it. Uh, and so, uh, so now they have this, this, this roll control, these thrusters, uh, apparently in working order if Voyager needs it, uh, while the deep space network is offline and it can keep itself pointed properly and, uh, uh, and keep on going. So I think that that's great. It's just another, uh, uh what does we call the energizer moment for, for, for the, yeah. uh, for the Voyager spacecraft. They called it a miracle save. Uh, and I, uh, quote, it was yet another miracle save for Voyager, which means that Scotty is probably the chief engineer over there at NASA JPL to keep this thing running on like actually spit. Scotty's a, a few bits of carbonized ash out in did he, that was just earth orbit right yeah, yeah he went up on Celestis yeah a few times I think actually so yeah because Scotty was large enough that he had lots to go around okay sorry <laughs> Hey, if you enjoyed this clip be sure to check out this week in space you can find us on your favorite podcast app or see the link in the description below. See you there.